Hi boys and girls. Today I want to read to you one of my favorite stories and it's part of our diverse books from our book drive. It's called Strictly No Elephants. When something says strictly, it means it's serious. It means you can't break the rules. They're very serious rules you cannot break. Now, <clears throat> elephants. At first, when I looked at the, t the cover of this book, I thought that was a dog. But then when I read the sign, the title, the illustrator drew it as a sign, the title, the name of the book, Strictly No Elephants, I realized, oh my gosh, it is an elephant. I, hmm. This book has caught my attention. This book was written by Lisa. She was the author. She wrote the words and illustrated by Taeun. He drew the pictures. Now, I want to show you the back cover of the book. The back of the book. Look very closely. I see normal pets. And then an elephant. Interesting. Hmm. Let's read and find out why this place, this, there's a sign that says strictly no elephants. They're not allowed in. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh, and this book was, was donated from Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Strictly no elephants. Written by Lisa, illustrated by Taehyung. The trouble with having a tiny elephant for a pet is that you never quite fit in. No one else has an elephant. I see a fish, a cat, some dogs. Oh, it's, hey, it's the back cover. Every day I take my elephant for a walk. He is a very thoughtful sort of walk. That is pretty thoughtful. I like how the elephant is holding the umbrella for this little boy so he doesn't get wet while his hands are full. He doesn't like the cracks in the sidewalk much. I always go back and help him over. That's what friends do, lift each other over the cracks. That boy must be pretty strong. Today, I'm walking my tiny elephant to number 17. It's pet club day and everyone will be there. Ooh. They look nice. Off they go. I see dogs on leashes, an elephant on a leash. Some more dogs. Kitty cat. Come along. There's a good boy. I coax him the last few feet. It'll be fine. Sometimes I have to do that when we go to the vet with Lloyd. He doesn't want to go in. He gets nervous. So I bet this elephant is feeling a little nervous. When I look up, there's a sign on the door. <gasps> Strictly no elephants. Wow. Now, when I look back at their faces, it makes sense. They look really sad and shocked and, you know, a, a little bit surprised. Because there's a sign on the door. It says strictly no elephants. What does that mean? <gasps> look at all the kids in the window. Hmm. Let's read. Let's see if we can figure it out. My tiny elephant leads me back to the sidewalk, never minding the cracks. That's what friends do. 
brave the scary things for you. Uh, strictly no elephants means no elephants allowed. That's so sad. I don't get it. The elephant was is his pet, just like the dogs and the cats. Look very closely at the illustration. Think about, hmm, think about how elephant and it, that little boy is feeling. Take notice of something coming up though. You never know when you turn the corner. That might happen. Did you try to go to the pet club meeting too? The girl asks. Yes, I say. But they don't allow elephants. Hmm, I noticed, I noticed something in her lap. The sign didn't mention skunks. The girl says, but they don't want us to play with them either. They don't know any better, I tell her. He doesn't stink, the girl adds. No, he doesn't, I agree. What if we start our own club? I have to say, those are some pretty cute pets. A skunk and an elephant. So cute. Come along, I say, making certain that my tiny elephant follows me. Because that's what friends do. Never leave anyone behind. That's true. That's a true friend. Especially because the sign didn't say no kids. So the boy could have just left the elephant, left his pet, but good friends don't do that. Good friends always include each other and they never let anyone feel left behind. Hey, wait a minute. Zoom in a little closer. I see a, a penguin in a window. What? <gasps> um, hmm. I wonder what's gonna, oh my goodness. A narwhal? Oh my gosh, look at all these different types of pets. A bat! Looks like a hedgehog. Wow. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know you could have pets like this. This is amazing. We can play here. One of our new friends say says, all of us. Ooh, that tree house does look pretty cool. <gasps> so we paint our own sign and it used to say, strictly no strangers, no spoil sports. They crossed it out and then they wrote, all are welcome. No matter who or what you are, you are welcome in their club. I like that rule. My tiny, my tiny elephant will give you directions if you need them. Oh, that's good to know that we're invited too. And look. Even the dogs are joining in. That's pretty kind to let them join. Especially since, you know, they were excluded before. The dogs were excluding other people in that other club. That was really kind of the other animals. You know why? Because that's 
what friends do. And there they all are. All different types of creatures and humans. Everyone looks different, but they can all come together and be friends. Give it a round of applause for Strictly No Elephants. I love this book. You know why? I love this book because it makes me think about my friends. It makes me think about how I want to make sure all of my friends are included in everything that I can do. I don't think it's very fair that this club, the original club that they went to, said, sorry, no elephants allowed. Strictly, no elephants. That's a that's not very kind. If you look back on one of our pages where we can see the little boy's face and his elephant's face, when they read the sign, strictly no elephants, you can tell that they're feeling not so great. Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever been told that you couldn't play with someone because maybe you were too young or maybe it was an all boys club or an all girls club? Hmm. If you have, I bet you your heart felt sad for that elephant and that little boy when it came to that page. Mine did. How can we make sure everyone's included? What can we do to make sure that no one feels left out? Let me know. I'll see you later.